Hi, this is Firda again. So, welcome back to the basic PLSM using Smart PLS3. The last session is session 4, evaluation of structural model. It consists of 6 procedures. And now we are going to go to session number 5, which is uh, end of the session, mediator and moderator analysis. First, we will discuss about mediation, and then after that, we are discussing about moderating. Mediation occurs when a third mediator variable intervenes between two other related constructs. A change in the endogenous construct causes a change in the mediator variable, which in turn results in a change in the endogenous construct in the model. Direct effect are the relationship linking two constructs with a single arrow. Indirect effect is a sequence of two or more direct effects and is represented by multiple arrows. Direct effect P3 between Y1 and Y3 and indirect effect of Y1 on Y3 in the form of Y1, Y2 and Y3 sequence. The indirect effect P1 times P2 representing the mediating effect of the construct of Y2 on the relationship between Y1 and Y3. The types of mediation effect according to HAIR 2017, it consists of three types of mediation, which is complementary mediation, competitive mediation, and indirect only or full mediation. The complementary mediation, the indirect effect and the direct effect both are significant and point in the same direction. On the competitive uh, or partial indicator in mediation, the, in the indirect effect and the direct effect both are significant and point in opposite direction. Indirect on the mediation, the end indirect effect is significant but not the direct effect. And also here characterized two types of non-mediation. Number one is direct only non-mediation and no effect non-mediation. The direct uh, only non-mediation means the direct effect is significant but not the indirect effect. And the no effect non-mediation means neither the direct or indirect effect are significant. According to Chow, Lynch and Chen 2010, uh, they have a specific definition about it. This full mediation is the independent variable doesn't have significant effect on the dependent variables after the inclusion of the mediation variable. On the partial mediation, the independent variable has a significant effect on the dependent variable after inclusion of the mediation variables. Suppose we have a model like this on the corporate reputation model. We want to test whether the customer satisfaction has uh, fully mediating effect or partial medi mediating effect or non <coughs> no mediating effect. So we apply the procedure called significant analysis for indirect and direct uh, effect. To do so, we go to Smart PLS3 software and go to our corporate reputation model and run the bootstrapping report. Just go to calculate bootstrapping. No sign changes and then start calculation. <clears throat> it will give you a report like this in this uh, windows or you can go export to Excel. Just export, start exporting to Excel. Save on your folder and it will automatically give you the report like this. The table under final result in indirect effect provide us with an overview of results. So just click here. Indirect effect. According to this report is including standard error. Standard error. The bootstrap mean values, mean values, t values, 
and B values. Clicking on the BS Correct Confidence Input File, tap in the bootstrapping result, report show the confidence interval is derived from the BS Corrective Accelerating Method. Similarly, the table under final result, go to Path Coefficient. The Path Coefficient over the corresponding result for the direct effect which we need in the further analysis. From the table, all we need is the analysis of the relationship between competency to customer loyalty as well as the likability to customer loyalty. This can be seen in this model. So all we need is a relationship between this competency and customer loyalty and likability to customer loyalty in order to test this mediating effect. Put all together all information into one table, starting with direct effect, confident interval, the value and significant, as well as indirect effect, the confident interval, the value and significant. First, we start with the competency, relationship competency to customer loyalty on indirect effect is the path coefficient 0 0.092 and 95% confident interval in direct effect on the lower bone has a value 0 0.01 and the upper bone 0 0.207 therefore 0 doesn't fall in this confident interval so we conclude that the indirect effect is uh, significant. And then take a look on the direct effect between relationship uh, competency to customer loyalty. The direct effect is 0 0.033 and at 95% confident interval of the direct effect. This is the lower bone and the upper bone. The 0 falls in this confident interval so it includes a zero and then look at the t value is lower than 1.96 and the p value is also <coughs> higher than 0 0.05 so we conclude that uh, doesn't have a direct effect or direct effect is uh, insignificant so we conclude that if we have indirect effect, yes, yeah, significant, and direct effect, yes, yeah, indirect, if we don't have a direct effect, non-significant, according to this uh, testing, according to this test uh, procedure, if indirect, if we indirect report is significant, but the direct report non-significant, so we have a full mediation. The same with uh, likability and relationship to customer loyalty. The indirect effect is not significant because it includes zero on this uh, confident interval. And also the direct effect is include zero in the confident interval. Look at the T value and the P value also is not significant. So we have uh, indirect effect non-significant, indirect effect non-significant. Let's uh, go to the test procedure. <coughs> if we have uh, indirect effect non-significant, indirect effect also non-significant, that means we don't have uh, no effect on the mediation. means that on the construct, the customer satisfaction has no effect on mediation. After testing the significance of the indirect effect and direct effect of the mediating effect, now we are going to the moderation. Moderation describes a situation in which the relationship between two constructs is not constant but depends on the values of a third variable, referred to as moderator variable. The moderator variable changes the strength 
or even the direction of a relationship between two constructs in the model. For instance, as a result of uh, one researcher, it says that the relationship between customer satisfaction and customer loyalty differs as a function of the customer income. Income has negative effect on the satisfaction to loyalty relationship. The higher the income, the weaker the relationship between satisfaction and loyalty. To evaluate the moderator variable, as per head 2017, we use uh, measurement and structural model assessment, the size of the moderating effect, assess whether the interaction term is significant, and assess moderator's uh, square effect size. To do so, we need to go to our model and then insert our moderator variable here. Rename the moderator variable with switching cost and assign indicator with switching 1 until 4 indicators. Then right click on the dependent variable, add moderating effect. Here, change to switch cost and the independent variable is customer satisfaction all by default and then click OK. When you click OK, the moderating effect or interaction term will appear will include and then right click and then show indicator or selected construct we are now ready for algorithm report click pls algorithm and run the report after running the report then use uh, all the criteria against this uh, measurement model like a uh, loading factor ape scnt under bootstrapping convergent interval and Convergent validity. Our next concern is with the size of the moderating effect. As you can see here, the moderating effect is the uh, interaction term has a positive effect on the customer uh, loyalty. Next, we assess the interaction term is significant. For this purpose, we run the bootstrapping procedure and and analyze the p-value on this relationship. Here is the p-value for the moderating effect one and also the confidence interval at 95% moderating effect. It doesn't include zero, so we conclude that the effect is significant. The final step, address the moderator's F square effect size by going to the quality criteria and F square. Click on the quality criteria under that uh, F square and then click on here. And we can see that the uh, F square is 0 0.760. The P value is 0 0.760. According to Kenny 2016, the value indicates a large effect. So we have test the moderating variable using this criteria evaluation, measurement, and structural model. Size of the moderating effect, assess whether the interaction term is significant, and assess moderator's F square effect size. And that's the end of session 5 about moderating and mediating. Thank you very much. So should you have any question, don't hesitate to call me at this uh, email address. Thank you and see you later. Bye.